Chamberlain and Hill castings have been in Walsall since 1890, but the last year has been one of the most difficult in the firm's history. The company makes automotive components, but when one of its largest customers took work overseas, it was precarious. It did feel like at that point in time we were heading to the potential end of a business that's been here for 130 years. And nobody wants that for the history of the, the company or for the employees or, uh, you know, uh, for, for the local economy. So in the face of adversity, the firm diversified, shifting production to make gym equipment. During lockdown, there was a huge demand for these products uh, based on the fact that the gyms were closed. There was very little stock available for the UK consumer to purchase, so it was a case of striking while the iron was hot or the foundry was hot, so to speak. British champion powerlifter Lauren Recky from Soli Hull was one of the firm's first new customers. With lockdown, it was really hard to get hold of equipment. Most of it was coming from overseas, so it was handy having them make theirs in the UK. Back at the foundry, they've also got plans to produce cookware. They're promoting the specialist skills of this industry. Made in the UK for us is a very key thing. From our point of view, whatever we go into from this point forward it is all about trying to promote that side of things and, and promote the skills and the resources we've got in this country. We've got people that have worked here decades, literally. They've spent their whole life here since leaving school to the point that they retire. If we can help maintain that sort of business going forward, then that's something to be really proud of. Covid might have changed the shape of some manufacturing in the Midlands, but for firms with the spark of ingenuity and invention, they could emerge stronger from the pandemic. Liz Copper, BBC Midlands Today, Warsaw.